Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, when I'm on vacation, although it is now the weekend, and so I will be, God willing, back in my Oklahoma studio, ready to take on the start of the semester as I prepare for a new fall uh, starting this coming week. Uh, but my man, Tiberius Sloney VP, I think it's Tiberius, sorry if I'm butchering your name, but but uh, essentially, he was one of the many people who reached out to me on this trip the last couple weeks with a really important issue that I personally haven't noticed, but as always, that doesn't mean it's not something to bring to the community's attention. He says, hey there, thank you as always for continuing to be the voice of the player. <laughs> I would probably put the word average in front of player or in between the and player because you know, for the people who are really good at the game, like KT1 and, and uh, gosh, so many, Seton, Brian Grant, Legacy, so many to, you know, they're there. <laughs> I'm still here after five and a half years, just, you know, trying to give some kind of perspective. But he said, I ran into a bug that may interest you. I have an account that cannot bind relics or unbind relics. I have sent it to Kabam, but you know... Here is a link to a showcase of it. In this video, it shows the only active thing I have going on is Alliance War, and I just have three stars used there, didn't place defense. I then go on to show the issue where the relic won't bind. I try both from the champion and the relic itself. I try for two different champions. Now, I sent the YouTube link, but I have a policy on my channel to not commentate videos that are directly off of YouTube because technically when you produce a YouTube video on your channel, you own the rights to that video and you can get it removed from another channel uh, if YouTube is willing to help you and get a human being off of it. But uh, you never know if they're actually a human or a robot or not. It says, if not, no worries. Hope you're doing great. You seem to be a pretty good spot right now. Keep doing what you do. I'm in a good spot. I'm uh, looking forward to the semester, like I said, but that doesn't mean I can't help cover this issue for you. So, here is, I said, thanks, can you send the original video? The YouTube video is private, so you can only get to it if you have the link. He then said, uh, bad thunderstorm, internet is not amazing right now, didn't come through. This is how things work, but then finally, finally, the video came through. So you can see he is level 53. He has relics available to use. So we know that he can open them. And he's got six star awakened Corvus, unawakened Hercules. Come on, man. Do threat level five this, this month. Get yourself that six-star generic awakening gem for Hercules. And so when you go to bind relic, nothing happens. Now, because I have always been Paragon since relics came out, like I don't know. I don't know if this is a thing, but I did notice that he's got some past relics that can bind and unbind. So I think he's shown that you can do this before. It's not like you have to be level 60 or the top progression level to do it. It just looks frozen. You can see Warlock's got a relic. And and so he's just stuck. And I have no idea, my friend, how many people this is affecting. I don't think there really is a way to know. But I do know that, that, I do know that this relic bug would drive me crazy. And some people might say, but Prof, you already are crazy. And you know what? You're right. I am. Anyone who's willing to spend five and a half years of their very important but short life on this planet making over 13,000 YouTube videos for the heck of it is probably crazy. But Thor is my favorite relic. So to have him not be able to be equipped would make me lose it. So, Tiberius Sloney, VP, I promised you I'd cover this. I have obviously done just that, because if you're watching this, it is on my YouTube channel. 
I'm worried that Kabam won't fix this until the next patch, but hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully you reach out to me soon and say, uh, Prof, it's all good, it's fixed. And that would be a welcomed message. So thanks as always for supporting my channel, especially at the tail end of my Texas vacation for two weeks. It's been a great trip, but I'm also excited to sleep in my same bed now, finally, and, you know, just get back to my normal routine. Thanks for watching.